Hey everyone, it's Andy with the Reverb Tone Report, and today we're looking at a pedal that takes envelope filter to the extremes. It's the Macrodose from All Pedal. This powerful filter is the result of a collaborative effort between All Pedal and Sub Decay. The legendary Prometheus Deluxe provided a platform for the Macrodose, which includes requested features like a clean signal blend and output volume level for maximum control. Starting with traditional envelope filter sounds, you can choose high pass, band pass, or low pass to narrow down the range. Then adjust to taste the frequency range, depth or input sensitivity, and resonance for some extra zap. When looking for LFO based filtering, you can have your choice of smooth or stepped with speed control via tap tempo or expression pedal. The special envelope also speeds up or slows down based on your playing dynamics. You can even trigger just a single LFO cycle at any given moment with a tap switch for careful calculated filter sweeps. The All Pedal Macrodose is made with high quality components and the high standards in the US. Look for this colorful and mind expanding pedal right here on Reverb. Let's just start off with a classic envelope filter sound using the upwards direction so when you hit it hard it's going to get brighter and open up. I'm using the low pass filter to get a very nice full low end like your classic Mutron and I'm using the depth to adjust the sensitivity so with this humbucker in the bridge uh, I have it about 75% and it's getting a nice attack. <laughs> Now let's try out that new clean blend and get a little bit of lower filter so it's going to be otherwise a kind of a muddier sound but since we have a clean blend you have that dry signal coming through to give it some extra clarity. <laughs> And of course you can flip the direction of the envelope and for this sound it's a completely different feel because it's going the other way so I'm using the band pass and I've backed off on the sensitivity so it doesn't close quite as hard you have to really dig in. <laughs> Let's move that shape control all the way over to the other envelope section, which is special envelope. And what's cool about this one is still a very touch sensitive sound, but instead of just a standard envelope opening and closing, getting brighter and darker, it's actually like a sample and hold or step filters. <laughs> Let's go to 
a faster tap division. some dry blend in there. And there's one more special envelope mode I'd like to show you, and that's something that's a little bit more related to the speed of the LFO. So if you hit hard, it'll either speed up or slow down, depending on where you have that arrow dialed in with the shape knob. So this brings us to the LFO feature, and you could actually just have this go constant speed with the manual setting. You could also change a, a, a lot of the waveforms with the mode switch. So let's just start with a classic sine wave in the manual mode, and I'll use that warp knob just to dial in the, the specific speed I'm looking for, and then I'll go through those top controls just to shape the filter. <laughs> Now something like this where it's a very strong and percussive filter, the clean blend is really helpful. And we'll actually roll back on the resonance just to kind of get a warmer sound, very reminiscent of a classic synth. Switching out of manual mode gets you a lot more control over those waveforms. So let's get something like a ramp waveform and then sort of skew it in either direction to really get the feel we're looking for. And outside of manual, you actually have tap tempo and subdivisions. <laughs> Wet, 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 wet,
On the other side of the mode knob, you have a different kind of LFO, and that's more like a step or sample and hold filter. Let's change the tone, getting back to a bandpass, so it's not going to really interfere so much with the low end of the guitar. And we'll, of course, use that clean blend. Now let's get those feet involved and just trigger one cycle of an LFO. And the cool thing about this trigger mode is that you tap it twice and that basically tells it the speed of the sweep. So the first one kind of sets the in point and the second one is the out and then it immediately goes through the sweep. And I've chosen a really cool wave shape, which is actually a combination of two different waveforms. Well, there's your look at the all pedal macro dose, delivering everything from classic envelope filter tones to some really cool synthy LFOs, and it's available right here on Reverb. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.